I just went. Yeah. Yeah, there's a fish. Definitely our biggest one of the day. Holy cow. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we have a couple hours. We're gonna do some walleye fishing. Um, it is almost prime time, so we'll get out here and do some fishing. Um, yeah, we're hoping for walleye today. Maybe some big ones, who knows? It is It is still early spring. Um, so hopefully we can get on some decent fish. Alright, I'm almost positive something just hit me right at the side of the boat here with the crankbait, so I'll give the swim bait a little pitch out. Yeah. Fish on. And it's a little walleye. We can just flip this guy. I pitched out the perch crankbait. Um, he, I saw him, well I felt him hit at the side of the boat, so I pitched the swim bait out and caught him and that's our first walleye of the night. It's a nice little guy. We're gonna release him. There he goes. Feisty guy. Well, looks like I'm getting in my rain suit. Alrighty, we're going to spot number two. So the fish just haven't been really hanging on to the bait, so I might have to bite and try some minnows here in a minute, but um, they're hitting the swim bait. They're just not as aggressive as I'd like them to be, so we're gonna switch up here. Feels okay. Let's see when he gets here. First cast, and it is a small one. Wow, was I ever mistaken. There we go, number two of the night. Nice little walleye. There is number two. First cast with the jig in the minnow. Might have to, might have to stick to that. Couple scars there, but number two. Maggie sleeping? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to wake you up. Doing some walleye fishing, Mags. Yeah, there's a bite. Oh, that's not a bad walleye. Oh, yeah. Eh, it'll be a nice keeper if we land him. Come here, buddy. Oh, missed him. There we go. Biggest one of the night. There he is. Another one on. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to excite you. But uh, another one on the live minnow. And that should have some nice slabs of meat, so we'll keep that one. So he's probably about a 14, 15 incher. Perfect size for keeping, and we'll put him on the stringer. Them. Gotta put another minute on. So I was really hoping that these fish were gonna be aggressive tonight, but definitely are not. You just feel them tap lightly, 
and I've been missing a couple. So I think the live bait tonight's uh, definitely our best bet. I'm just giving it little twitches, popping it off the rocks here, and uh, they just seem to pick it up. Hopefully we can uh, catch a few more. Yep, there's a fish. And how is he? Ah, uh, he's he's a small one. And that's our fourth one of the, of the day, I believe. And he's off. And another small guy. There he is. And there he goes. There we go. Some head shakes, okay. Some head shakes. And it is another little guy. I don't know, that one, I don't know why these fish are seaweed so big. But it's my first time walleye fishing, so maybe I'm just used to little brookies, who knows. There we go, probably our average size for the night. Nothing uh, too extraordinary, but probably caught five or six now. So it's been a fun night out on the water with Maggie. There we go. There's another one. Yeah. Definitely doesn't feel very big. Another tiny guy. Ooh, that's a definitely a small one. But that is the smallest one of the night. There he goes. There's one. Yeah. I don't know, is this one? It is definitely not bigger. I will net this guy. A lot of little guys tonight. Oh, maybe later on we'll get into a couple bigger ones, hopefully. There we go. I think number seven, probably. There's another one. Next cast. Uh, he might be a little bigger, but I've said that many times now, so who knows. Oh yeah, he's a little bigger. Probably another keeper. Woo! A fighter. There we go. Uh, he might be just a tad small for keeping. We'll see here. There he is. No, he's a good keeper. He looked smaller in the net there, but it's a good size to keep. This is uh, the jig head I've been using. It's the parrot color. It's a VMC, an eighth ounce, and it's been smoking him. It's another nice fish. So there we go. We got two really nice keepers. All right, this is getting... Oh, he dropped it. I was gonna say this is getting ridiculous because that was that would have been three casts in a row we caught fish, but he dropped it. <laughs> I jinxed myself. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I didn't jinx myself after all. And he's another little guy. We'll just flip him into the net here. There we go. Putting on a clinic tonight. No big ones yet. Another, <laughs> he's a feisty guy. There you go, buddy. Uh, yeah, there's a fish. Uh, not too big, but not a bad one. 
<sighs> Another average size. There he is. There we go. Another little feisty guy. They're just just munching on it and I can feel weight. They're not hitting it hard and then but uh we're still catching fish, so can't complain. There we go, hooked up. And what is this? Another decent, oh, he's a bit bigger than average probably. There we go. I could uh, potentially keep this one, but he's on the little small side. There we go. Probably number 10 for the night. Yeah. <laughs> they fight hard after you get them hooked, but there we go. All small guys. Really been nothing big in here. But they're really shallow too though. Like I'm sitting in, uh, I'm anchored in nine feet of water right here. And I've been casting up probably into, you know, six or seven feet. So they're up really shallow and uh, we're putting a beating on them. So the nice thing about having braid is right now, I'm just slowly rolling the jig head off rocks. And I've been, oh, there's one. Sorry, we got interrupted, but like I was saying, oh, this one feels not, not too bad, actually. I mean, just slowly rolling the jig head off the rocks. So with this braid, I can feel a lot more than if I had, say, a monofilament or something. Oh, that's a nice one. Definitely our biggest one of the day. Let's see if we can land him. Come here, buddy. Let's go. That is our biggest one of the night. There he is. Nice wall. He fought hard too. Feels good to land a bit of a bigger one here. There he is. And I'm guessing he's probably around uh, 17 ish. So he's about 16 and a half, so he's a good keeper. And uh, he'll have some really good fillets on him. So that's our third keeper. Uh, yeah. This one. Giving some decent head shakes too. Staying deep. Another not bad fish at all right here. This guy could definitely be another keeper, but we're gonna let him go and I only need one more for my limit here, so we're just gonna let this guy go. Live another day. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's almost been every single cast we've been getting bites. A lot of them are stealing the minnow, though. And that just shows you how lightly they're biting it. We are calling it a night. That was a big lightning. Holy cow. 